The Congressional Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attack held its third public hearing. The focus today on what then-President Trump was allegedly asking of Vice President Mike Pence. ABC's Jay O'Brien has the latest from Washington now in our top story at 5. In their third televised hearing, the House Select Committee investigating the deadly Capitol insurrection, focusing on former President Trump's efforts to stop Vice President Mike Pence from certifying Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. Mike Pence said no. He resisted the pressure. He knew it was illegal. He knew it was wrong. The committee trying to make clear Trump was told by several administration lawyers that Pence had no legal authority to overturn the 2020 election and make him the president. They also tried to draw a direct line between Trump's pressure on Pence and the Capitol attack. Bring out Pence! Retired federal judge Michael Ludig, a conservative legal icon, testifying he plainly told Pence he could not do what Trump was asking. Would have been the first constitutional crisis since the founding of the Republic. And Pence's former general counsel, Greg Jacob, who was with him in the Capitol on January 6th, agreed. There is no uh, justifiable basis to conclude that the vice president has that kind of authority. While Pence is being praised for performing his constitutional duty on January 6th, just two days before, at a rally in Georgia, Pence himself seemed to question the validity of the 2020 election. I share the concerns of millions of Americans about voting irregularities. And I promise you, come this Wednesday, we'll have our day in Congress. And in a new development, sources confirming to ABC News the January 6th committee is now in possession of emails between Trump legal advisor John Eastman, who drafted the campaign strategy to have Pence block the certification of the election, and Ginny Thomas, the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. The committee chairman telling reporters today he wants to invite Ginny Thomas to speak before the panel soon. Previously released documents show that Mrs. Thomas reached out to state legislators, even Trump's then chief of staff, Mark Meadows, trying to overturn the 2020 election. Jay O'Brien, ABC News at the Capitol.